I've always been a storyteller and from the earliest days I remember writing stories and piece, on pieces of paper and creating characters in my mind. Robin Long is a Chinese-American filmmaker based in Hawaii. I had just finished uh, my documentary about Queen Liliokalani and I wanted to work on a feature film about another strong woman. In Hawaii, we have um, a very strong Native Hawaiian culture, and there's a lot of sensitivity about cultural appropriation. And so I felt that um, it wasn't really my place to do another story about Hawaiian culture. I should really search for a story that was closer to my own ethnicity. So I really wanted to tell a story about a Chinese woman from Hawaii. Robin's research led her to filmmaker Liling Ai. When I was researching, I found the name of Liling Ai's mother. And then I found out that there was a book written about her, and the book was written by Liling Ai. Liling Ai had worked on this movie called Ku Khan. And I found out that Ku Khan won an Academy Award in 1941, and that no known copy of the film existed. And, and that was like a shock, first of all, that a Chinese woman from Hawaii worked on an Academy Award winning film. And then secondly, that the film didn't exist anymore. And so both, both of those facts just like made me pursue the story. It was like a mystery, you know, I love mysteries. And so here's this mystery that presented itself, you know, a possible amazing woman character that I had been searching for, and then a missing film. Robin would spend the next seven years looking for and eventually restoring Lee's film, Ku Khan. Ku Khan is, um, about the Chinese people's resistance to the Japanese invasion of the country. So Ray Scott, who's the cameraman for Ku Khan, travels through the parts of China that were, were not occupied yet. And he goes around and he really photographs everyday lives of the Chinese people and how they're adapting to being at war or being invaded. In all of the footage, what was really remarkable is that Ray Scott focuses on faces and close-ups, and there's not a lot of dead bodies in Ku Khan. So I think really what he and Li Ling I were trying to portray was China as, like, Chinese people as similar to Americans. Like, these are not just like masses, you know, that they are people just like you and I, and they deserve respect, and their students, and their scientists, and their farmers, and their, you know, mothers and sons, and, and they're being killed, you know. I think one of the things they wanted to show is that China was standing up and fighting for itself, and that these people deserve respect, that they weren't just like faceless victims of war. Yeah. Here's more pictures of Li Ling Ai. Robin's investigation into the life and work of Li Ling Ai became the documentary Finding Ku Khan. Finding Ku Khan is really about this amazing female character, Li Ling Ai, and she was a pioneer filmmaker. And so it's about her and her film that she made, Ku Khan, which was lost for many, many decades. So she was really interested in number one with Ku Khan getting Americans to pay attention to what was going on in China. She also wanted Americans to know about the rich, deep Chinese culture. So it's not just about the film, it's really about the people that surround the film. And that's really, I think, the universal human story that we uncover. So this film is a collaborative effort 
in so many ways and with so many people in this room that I, looking out at you, I really like want to cry because it's like a big family reunion and I hope you enjoy the film. most wonderful stops along my 10 city tour was in Atlanta because I got to screen the film for Ray Scott's family for the first time. All of his four sons were there. Also one of Li Ling Ai's great nieces was there. This is Li Ling Ai's great niece. Christina. We're so lucky to have members of their family and um, who helped me greatly in the making of this film. And there are um, several people in the film Who's pa who passed away, and her, her father and her sister are two of them. And so, <laughs> I didn't think you'd get this emotional. <laughs> I hope that people realize that our histories are so precious and that, you know, um, stories really need to be documented before they're lost. And I'm so privileged that her dad and her sister were willing to share their stories with me before they passed away. Um, can you all stand up, relatives of Ray Scott? I mean, without all of you, this film wouldn't be in existence. They were just so generous to allow me to, you know, go through their father's papers and and uh, photographs and. Um, it, it's kind of like I got a, almost like adopted by the Scott family because I spent so much time with them and really talked about really personal, intimate details about Ray Scott's life with them. So in or, to show it to them in Atlanta was really, really um, special. And I was a little nervous that, you know, how they would react, but they all gave me big hugs afterwards. What a great job. while the Japanese bombs were landing did your, right did the, next the to the Scott brothers ever see this? Probably not. They might be interested in this too. So I found it intact so that I can reread and so recreate the mood and feeling of the China in which you were growing up. When I went to China with a copy of Ku Khan and I was able to show you know people who had survived the war scenes from Ku Khan, I realized, I mean, they had such an emotional reaction to that, and it, you know, it was bringing a part of their history home to them. You know, you want accolades and you want, winning an Academy Award would be wonderful, but that's really not what the power of the film Ku Khan meant to those people in China. Robin is a fourth generation Chinese American and the process of discovering Li Ling Ai's story was also a process of discovering her own cultural background. I wasn't raised with uh, knowing a lot of my Chinese culture. I didn't know my, I didn't know Mandarin or Cantonese growing up. So working on this film has really kind of brought me closer to that part of me and has taught me a lot about Chinese history and made me more curious about my Chinese culture. This is my treasure chest. You know, she was uh, larger than life, very intelligent, very attractive. She was also noble and patriotic. So she loved the camera, she loved the spotlight to be on herself. But a lot of her flamboyance and the attention she drew to herself, she reflected back on things that she was really concerned about. And most of those things had to do with China. So there's Li Ling Ai. The part Li Ling Ai has played in the production of Ku Khan has been much more than that of technical supervisor. She, you know, she should have gotten much more credit than just being technical ad 
advisor or technical supervisor. So um, yeah, and I think it means that her claim to be co-producer is accurate. You know, she's taught me about perseverance, like creative perseverance and perseverance against discrimination. My film is also about my own discovery of that spirit of Kukan to persevere and fight and not give up. Through her own dedication to uncovering this story, Robin shined a light on an icon who was almost forgotten, but whose barrier-breaking story could never be erased.